Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here. Please ignore my backdrop and everything. We're in the process of boxing things up and moving from this apartment to a brand new house, which I'm gonna fill you in. I put a video, couple videos online, kind of going through everything we're doing. And so it kind of looks weird. It's actually not even in the right position. I know, it just looks bizarre. I wanted to make a video today because I've now seen three articles sent my way, which, I mean, this one here says, has the mask singer become too predictable? Fans cry foul over scripted show. And I really wanted to give my two cents in because it kind of bothers me that people are, are getting either that feeling that they're getting like a less quality show when they're not. And so I just wanted to take a few minutes just to talk about this. These articles that are coming out are based off of a Reddit group called The Masked Singer. It's a group that I'm pretty sure you've read things on. I know I've read things on. I haven't been in a while. And so when this said Reddit group, I'm like, hmm, let me jump on there and read this thread because I'm kind of like, maybe I'm missing something here. And so I just want to read it to you. And then I want your opinion. It says, is it just me? That's what it's titled. This is from nine days ago. Or does it feel the show feels really scripted now? I mean, looking back on it, it was probably always scripted to a certain extent. Maybe I'm just picking on it because I've been watching the show for this long and know how it works. Or it could be because my prefrontal cortex is developing. He says he started watching at 17, now at 21. But it's like they're not even hiding it anymore. And as much as I hate to be a broken record with everyone else saying stuff like this, I think it's partially because of the new format. Like I can predict with 90% accuracy who's gonna be eliminated in every single episode. And I have to be honest with you, I read that and I straight up went, well, I see where you're coming from. From somebody who's been watching this show from day one of The Masked Singer, I can 100% say that, yes, the format has changed which means because of the format change, they have to change the clue package. If you remember, we used to only have, I mean, you go back to season one and you realize we only had a handful of contestants and we were with those contestants for the entire season. And yeah, one would get eliminated here and there, but once you got to like six people performing and this and that, you know, you got to get maybe three clue packages for a celebrity to figure out who's under that mask. And that was great for seasons one, two, and three. Then they changed it for four, five, and six. And then seven, it changed again. Then eight, it changed again. And eight's format was pretty much what we had now, where it was you could potentially see one celebrity for one episode, and that's it. And if they made those clue packages as hard as they did seasons one through four, you would never figure out who's under the mask before the reveal. So they had to make them easier. I don't think they had a choice. Now, do I feel like that's ruining the show? No, I understand why they're doing it. You get more celebrity. I mean, let's be honest, okay? We always love seeing big celebrities on this show. And the only way you can get more and more celebrities on the show is if you had more contestants. And so this was their way to get some bigger names on the show in a smaller season. And while, yes, maybe it feels like they're just making, I mean, Dick Van Dyke's one was so easy. Michael Bolton's one was so easy. Is there a way they could potentially in the future change this? Yeah, they could. Maybe not give us as many clues before the episode airs. Maybe limit how many preview videos and photos you give us. And I mean, essentially, if you're gonna keep the same format, maybe make it to where it's a little more cryptic. I don't know. I mean, at the same time, once again, two people getting revealed, you only have minute and a half of clues and they reveal within 40 minutes or 35 minutes so i don't know i understand where people are coming from but i also understand that if this is the format they're going they have to make these clue packages easier if not you're not going to get it and i'm not going to get it do i prefer this format i like it because it gives us more celebrities but i also like it when the costumes stay around just a little bit longer so for season 10 which has not been confirmed yet but if you read between the lines, there is a contest and a couple of things going on promising to have people fly out for a filming or a taping of The Masked Singer, which means there is going to be a 10. We don't know when just yet. So for season 10, maybe they'll change the format again and take in all of our advice. 
So I do want you to know, they watch these videos and they do read everything that's on Reddit. I've got some people who work there have said, did you read this? Did you read that? So anyway, I want to know what you think. Do you think the clue packages are too easy? Does it upset you? Let me know on the comment section, or maybe you're like me and you really don't mind it because you don't have much time with them. Anyway, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As a reminder, we go live on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Thursday's my last day in this apartment. And I mean, if, if, let me just give you an idea of what this kind of looks like at this very second. It's, it is a mess back here, of uh, just stuff and things. And so um, Thursday, I'll do a recap but I probably won't do many videos for The Masked Singer on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because we're packing up the entire house and moving things and getting things under control. I don't want that to rip. And so um, I'll probably put up some Disney videos from our vacation or a couple other things. So if you, if you notice no Masked Singer stuff and like get upset by that, I apologize. It's There's a lot that's going on in my life. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Please stay safe and I'll see you later. Bye.